Welcome to this series where we are playing survival mode in No Man's Sky. And we're starting up on my freighter. And I want, I want to start with two things. One, a big thank you for your feedback on the multi-tool and your other comments, guys, just to keep me in line. And the second uh, thing I want to do is apologize in advance because this could be a little bit of a messy video simply because I've got a lot of odds and ends that I want to try and sort out. So rather than concentrating on a single mission, which was going to be the autophage mission, uh, I will probably be flipping around a little bit. But before that, I just want to give you an update of what I've been up to on the freighter. Is I've put a trade terminal in here simply because we've got these, uh, uh, what we call it here, these Gravitino balls that I keep picking up from time to time, and I want to sell those off. And the other thing is I want to see if I can buy some bits and pieces. We've got a magnetic resonator. I might need that because, uh, and the other thing I've put in here is actually, I think this is the, the fleet commands station because I'm off, off camera. I did a little bit, oops, no, nope. <laughs> sorry, wrong one. I'm a bit out of touch. And I think that's all I've put in here. Well, we've got more. It looks like we've got some more Gravitino balls that have grown since. These seem to be a really good money spinner at the moment. I keep forgetting about the thing in the center that allows you to pick all of them. Yeah, so I'm kind of farming these Gravitino balls at the moment. And uh, where did they go? They, they always go in the freighter, which is a little bit annoying, but... Uh, just shove them in the, the craft. So I'm just going to go round our creature, sell these guys off again as well. I say this seems for a little bit OP, but I'm not complaining because it's it's kind of given us a regular income of about half a million. The other thing I've also put in here as well, I forgot about, is I put a large refiner in here just in case that. Well, I need to make something because and I've also pushed out a couple of coral corridors here for further expansion the so just to show you what I've got kind of the range in here we've got a little bit of freight over there we've got the specialists for the different things the science specialists the construction specialists and the galactic trade room we've got portable constructors we've got uh, some more a possibility of putting in farming plants I would like to get some storage in up here as well and actually kind of expand that out. The one question I've got is that I did get a comment, I think it was from Snafu, about putting a med station in. And what triggered this was actually putting in a med station. But I don't seem to be able to find put that option in. I'm assuming that I just need to unlock more tech. Now the next thing I want to do is I, I've got a few frigates now and I've actually made some frigate fuel. So uh, well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go out and do a, well, a mission. I think we'll just go for a balance mission because we've got, uh, I think we'll assign all three ships to it. And you can, I think it's going to take a hundred tons of fuel. And of course, because uh, I've got the SS Normandy SR1 and the Leviathan and this Voices of the Gek, which is the one we got with the fleet, I think we've got a reasonable chance for just a general mission. I have got some launch fuel. Uh, we've got no equipment upgrade modules at the moment. I th oh, I think I've got one, but I think it's back in my base. And one thing, I want, so what I want to do long term is transfer a lot of the resources I've got down on my um, base up onto the free freighter so it's always going to be there but we're just going to launch that mission and get it away it says return to your son oh cool tracer <laughs> so we've now launched that mission now i'm assuming that maybe if we do the missions we will be able to unlock more tech anyway so that's done now what the next thing I want to do is show you the, the various missions. Now we've got this thing called Trace of Metal, which I started to work through, assuming that it was part of They Who Returned. But I don't think it actually is, because if I show you 
um, in the Ben tree now. I've got this Sentinel drone communicator, which I'm assuming is part of a taste of more well, whatever it is the metal, and we've got to go and activate that. But that's a separate mission. And what I've, we've got to do is in here is make a polyphonic core, which means I've got to make living glass. If I come to here to make living glass, we need uh, five glass, which is we can make from frost crystals, which is probably the route I'm going to go. Does it give me something to go and explore? And then we've also got to make a, a lubricant, which means I need fecium and gamma root. Now I can, I'm pretty sure I can get fecium and gamma root from my base. So whew, got through that. So what we're going to do? So what I'm going to do is. I'm going to get in the ship and we're, first thing we're going to do is go and talk to Nada I think the because it's kind of pointing us in that direction so we're going to go here and I'm, what I'm going to do is just show you what I, where I think I got myself confused because if I come up through here and go around the corner before we go and talk to Nada. What happened was is I got a pointer to here where we've got uh, Tethys and of course we got the multi-tool decommissioning position there and then of course we got this assembled construct and I think what happened was is I was meant to talk to this guy and I talked to Tethys and that's what Tethys got me pushed down on and I think what happened was is that's what Tethys pushed me down this trace of a metal which I got from visiting the settlers now we do have a requirement to get on our settlement as well but I want to talk to so we're going to talk to Nada go down on the base probably get attacked again oh so many things to do anyway um we've got to ch we've got to change missions back to uh where is it those who've returned so we've got to talk to nada i think this is one thing that can get a bit frustrating within no man's sky that you get all these overlapping missions and it's very easy to kind of uh lose the lose your place and where you're going so we're going to say they spoke to in autophage hmm they are an entity they they have a self but whatever whatever their voice nada does not think they are builder entity any more than nada is I'll tell them about the blueprint Impressive traveler entity is fast to gain constructor entities trust. This is useful memory print. Tell her about her. Friend entity, I'm sorry, but if Nada understands construct entities meaning, Nada does not wish to discuss it. Discuss next steps. Well, I'm going to ask you. Nada's opinion is limited, but Nada will share what they have. Builder entity value of um, purple lattice. Construct entities responses. Even Nada's carapace responds. Other electronics may respond as well. Uh, but, uh, and builder entities do not seem dangerous Come, data comes from time together friends make her do it is a traveller's choice both, both invalid so he hasn't really told us anything has he prayers to the machine okay what on earth have we got to do now learn more about the en interface complete pet prayers to the machine research the properties of adamantum so we got to install the poly polyphonic core. We got to research the properties of Atlantidium. So this is where all these missions start to branch and it says there, it says expand the investigation. Select an, uh, an audience. So it, <laughs> anyway, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to the settlement because as I, uh, I think it was Snafu requested that we kind of give you a bit of an update here so we're going to go to our settlement your bases what to because if I'm, i think the construction is now finished right we're here and we always land in the center and then i can never find the actual i think it's in here isn't it yep I think we've got a construction option now. Yeah, view, view construction opportunity. Uh, I 
think I would really like to keep driving the um, productivity at the moment uh, rather than the uh, kind of this citizen's happiness so if we do approve okay and if I click on here again view settlement status uh, we got sentinel alert 96 percent productivity 195,000 a day so we are kind of building it station is in debt clear debts yep right um what we got to do now is find the next construct building there should be well i think it's here there it is so this is our next construct building you're fair right yep now it's going to tell us that you're going to have to wait 19 minutes for it to build again now one thing i am considering and i'll be very interested in your point of view guys and one option i've been considering is possibly putting a base alongside it if that makes sense so we've got that now uh what i'm going to do is i think we're i'm gonna i'm gonna teleport back to right so we've now got that going i've got to find my ship <laughs> um i'm just wondering does this planet got any frost crystals it's, uh i mean i think i'd like to carry on exploring this planet so i'm just going to see if we've got a, an icy planet on this moon on in this area so we can find find some frost actually no what i'm going to do apologies for the indecision I think we're going to go back to let me just wander around this base and find the uh service room again right we're going to come in here and what i'm going to do now so we're going to use the teleporter so we're going to go to silver city i'm pretty sure there is a cold planet in this system as well but i want to go to the base so that we can see if i can pick up the gamma route and the uh, feceum. If not, we'll have to feed some creatures or do something to get some feceum. So now we're on the base here. Oh, the other thing also is I've got a bit of a question. Uh, I get a feeling that part of this autophage type mission is going to be. Yeah, we got some feceum. Uh, we only need about 50 don't we and I've got some glass which I've been carrying around for a little while and what else do we need uh, make the lubricant uh, gamma root so we can make the lubricant we should be able to make that I mean I've got 100 gamma root um, where's we need 400. Oh, great. Um, anyway, we can get the gamma root from this planet. Make that. So, right. Uh, let me just... I think I might give it to get a little bit more gamma root from in here because the plants should have grown up by now. Um, right. We're going to pick up the Rappertino ball, the Mordite fungal mold and a little bit of gamma right and we can shove this into here um the you can go in you can go in there i'm just going to keep storing up the gravitino balls those are going to be my emergency backup ones should i need them so there we got and i've got a hard frame engine so I've got all these bits and pieces that I'm accumulating. I'm assuming that they're all going to come together. This undamaged drone shell, I'm not too sure where that came from either. Let me just uh, look at the multi-tool. We only need one living glass, so I need some gamma root. So that's the next thing we're going to look for. It shouldn't take long to find some. Well, we just got to fly across the planet and find the gamma route. 
so that's what we're going to be doing now okay welcome back um i think i've just found a drop pod <laughs> and some gamma root but i can't i think i know i've done one drop pod on this planet so this this way may have already been done so that nope, we've got that there so we've got to make a housing and a nanotube so, yeah thank you game antimatter housing sodium nitrate so we've got another drop pod i think I think what I'd like to do is keep expanding my tech level. So we got that there and we've got some gamma root up here. I think what I will do is use some uranium to give me some extra protection. Just grab this this may not be enough if we need 400 but oops i don't want that <laughs> we could just go looking for some more afterwards so uh, no i don't think we're gonna get enough from here i never know it's hard to tell sometimes i will just get over here it we're about 75 short isn't that a surprise the other thing i'm also going to do is this occurred to me if i do a bit of uh random stuff like this we can pick up some silicon powder which will allow us to make glass so if i just kind of destroy the surface <laughs> Oh, oh well, we've got. Certainly want you anyway, so. And then we got a, a couple of these, which I wouldn't mind picking up as well. I uh, don't really want the living slime. Get rid of the viscous fluid. Anything else around here that I can pick up? How are we doing? Got, I don't. I don't think I've got enough of this at the moment to make glass. Um, was it tritium? I put that in there. Well, it says we can make three, so maybe that will work just going to be very low as silicate powder but that's never a problem so that solves the problem of the frost crystals we just need to find some more gamma root so that comes there that can come back to there so we've now got enough to uh not that the living glass sorry Radiation protection. yeah so we just need the gamma root now so off we go again on the, our search. Um, actually, I've just had a thought. I've got one of these. This artifact chart, I think. Um, okay, ancient site detected. That will give me a target. Oh, looks like there was some resources just over there, but how far away is that? Right, it's given me a target I can aim for, and we can do the artifact site as well. So, what again? What I'm going to be doing now is I'm just going to fly in this direction and see if I can find the necessary. Put up, put the environmental protection on. Uh, and we're 
we're just going to pick up some more of this gamma root. There's quite a lot here, so... Uh, just... I can see you. You've gone. And I've got another health kit. I've actually was... I'm not sure what was going on, and... But, and I know uh, I got a comment about I was always going on about my level of lives, but I think somehow I've managed to get more my most of my lives all the way back up again. Although that didn't come up and say that my health was at maximum. In fact, when we go back to base, I could always as do as what Safu suggested, is put a, a med station on the base. Oh, okay got another certainly gonna want you so uh grab you there and cut you uh you a couple more over here and that should be it uh, just pick them up pick that up And we should now be able to make a lubricant. And we now should be able to make a living glass. Better go to the multi tool. I think, I think we can just shove this in here. Put that in. I actually bought the quantum computer. Uh, more about the autovage change from yeah well it's my ship right i think because i've i've actually triggered the mission what we're going to do is i'm going to fly and do that mission that i triggered so uh just going to aim for that Because if I don't do it, it's just going to annoy me because the marker is always going to be sat there being a bit of a pain in the neck. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> uh, we're... Just clear this off here. Initiate landing. And this would give me uh, a possible option for... Where's my terrain editor? There we are. We will... Mine into here. Pick up a small artifact. That's the large artifact. Great. You can always guarantee that once I've got all three keys, I won't be able to find that. And we'll be a lot, lot more extravagant. Because that will give us the silicon powder for the, uh, for the multi-tool. There's another one just over here. And then we will artifact fragment. Oh, I've actually found the large crate. And we're just shove you in there, there, and there. Right, we found a rare item, 1,020 years old. Crumbling poetry, I think that's it. Uh, let's have a look at that. 680,000, not too bad. Uh, I'm just gonna devastate the landscape a little bit. <laughs> right, so I think 
what I want to do now is I've got some junk in here that needs to go. We've also got another one of those for a drop pod. I should really use that as well. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up. Uh, I want to go. I think I want to go back to my base next. There's some gamma root just at the back of the base, but there wouldn't have been enough there for there. But it, it makes the case to. Um, to kind of come in and pick things up. You can see here that these various exocraft placed here are the result of doing the base missions. So we're uh, just going to come into there and we're put you in there, you in there. Um, keep pneumonia. And we've got some of these stuff which we can put in. Got a little bit of adamantum. Uh, I think we're looking good here. But I think there was something that I was looking at that I wanted to put in the, there because I thought, why am I lugging this around? We got the anomaly detector, which I'm kind of half wanting. We got this for Keen tablet here. Community. I think it's this thing because I think I got this from the. Uh, from one of the missions and it isn't worth very much but I just thought I'd just keep it uh, so we'll just keep that right so uh, let me just go in here while I sort out what we're going to do next because we've got got an audience with the auto phase prayer he who returned research the properties of adamantum what have we got to do there Students observe, search for computing units. Attach the poly, attach the polyphonic core to your multi-scanner. Select an empty inventor and begin installation with there. Pin the results. Okay. Charge the core with adamantum. Okay, I think we, we can do that. Enter an autophage site. Um, okay, I think what we're going to have to do is get back to, uh, I'm not exactly sure where we can find, oops, no, what am I doing? Uh, um, I think I want to go back to this I think this is the one with the, the convergence. I do want to do now an audience of the autophage. Look, open the multi tab and scan with locate autophage camp. Yes. Well, we can do that. Hunt pilot, take pictures of marsh world. Um, can we scan for the what happened to the I'm a bit lost now open the multi-tool inventory there uh, okay locate auto okay. so we've now got an autophage camp. Where are we going now? Oh, we're off to a rainy planet. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, it's telling me that the landing site is not available. Come on, game. Stop messing about. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I knew I had to do a scan, but uh, okay, we need thermal protection. Right, we've got to talk to these guys now. Hello. So these autophage camps are hidden, but they could be anything. I thought we had to go to specific uh, bases. 
The auto face stares at me inquisitively, though their expression is difficult to read. They do not appear alarmed or even surprised by my approach. Simply curious to see what business I have. Welcome pre-built entity that, yeah, well, show the adamantum. Shiver runs through the auto phase, rattling the cobbles together. Uh, is this mother wish friendship, repeat friendship. Uh, the life form seems amused by clumsy pronunciation of the language, but appreciative of the efforts regaining composure. They nod solemnly and present a briefing task that I may assist. Collect four hydraulic wiring, scrap constructor, Wester scrapped. Okay, we'll start the mission. Uh, primary fiberglass grip blueprint. Okay. So I'm assuming that this is the what we've got to do. Or have I just kind of gone off in another direction? Yep, thank you, game. So we got to get four hydraulic wiring. Now, if I remember correctly, in this system, that I was able to buy some hydraulic wiring because I don't think I can make any. I don't have the formula, although um, this might be a good, good time to actually get the formula, maybe. So that we can just build up so we can make things as we go along. Okay. <laughs> Craft the inventory. Assistance. Assembly require assembly requirement. Okay. Ass assistant scrapped. Pin the hydraulic wire and blueprint. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna get up into space. I mean I've got the all right, we've got the anomaly. How far away is the anomaly? I don't really want to call the anomaly in because I'm quite happy with the anomaly where it is. Because it, I think it's pretty close to the space station. I'm quite happy to have it there. So we're going to go to the anomaly and we're going to get the formula for the hydraulic, whatever it is, hydraulic wiring. But then we'll go to the space station and see if we can actually buy it. But I, I think if I, I just want that formula now. You can see at the moment, I'm quite happy with this kind of little grouping here of the space station, the anomaly, and the freighter all close together. So I'm a bit reluctant to actually uh, break that up because uh, I like the idea of having them all close together. I wish those freighters wouldn't come in uh, around me. They kind of... Wait, stop shut making everything move and rattle so we're just going to scoot back into the anomaly I think this time I'm gonna go round and see if we can get some more nanites from the opposition Talk to Helios. Yeah. Okay, no new discoveries. <laughs> I suppose I was pushing me luck a little bit there. Um, well. No. Okay. No free nanites. Uh, but what we will do is go and get the formula for hydraulic wiring and maybe uh, a couple of other formulas uh, there we are we need carbon I mean that's not a difficult thing to actually make actually I've got salt back on my base dihydrogen and carbon we can make everything back in my base if I wanted to uh, kind of we've got 4,000 I'm going to make pick up the magnetic resonator as well. That's quite a simple one to make as well. Actually, we'll, we'll pick up this one as well. The only thing left we got to do is a warp hypercore. Actually, I'm going to pick up that as well because that that basically gives me all the available formulas now for to do what I want. Okay. Um, so we've got the formulas. I know we've spent quite a lot of nanites on that, but what have we got to do again now? Assemble there. 
we're going to make four hydraulic wiring which means to make that we need a pile of salt i can do that back on the base i don't need to buy the hydraulic wiring i think i've got salt oops so we're going to flip back to my base uh, silver city so here we are we are back here again i think i might have some salt stashed away in here if not it won't take much to actually collect it a little bit of chlorine which we could back can decompose there we've only got the one salt but so okay but it's not a problem because salt is quite common on this planet let me just uh Actually, if we go over the back, I can pick up those gamma roots. Um, well, we could have a bit of fun, actually. We could... But I haven't really ever used... I haven't really used any exocraft in this part, so maybe we're... Just go out and do a little bit of... Uh, Oops, it won't help if I'm constantly destroying all the salt, can I? So how much salt do I need to make? And we've got to make four of these. Uh, we need about 80 salt. It shouldn't take long to get that. Uh, and we need some dihydrogen as well. So... Uh, Try out a scan. Some dihydrogen down there. There's a drone hanging around, so we may up upset him a little bit. Yeah, I know you're there. Stop annoying me. Oops, like the local creature is just. the salt up right right we're gonna make some right, we're gonna make four of these so I need eight nanotubes and ah, I've got the carbon okay not a problem we can pick up some salts uh, I'm just kind of clear the whole area of hiding amongst the plants where yeah I got you right so we're gonna make one two three wow okay that's two of them. So I need three more nanotubes. Then we'll oh, go away. Uh, probably take the dihydrogen as well. We, I've got a feeling we might need that as well. So. Well, just clear the hillside of dihydrogen. Um, well. um, one, two, three. Well, oh, what's up with you? What's Right, if we come into here. I think we need. S right, let me just come into here. One. Ah, oh, we've got a missing component. 
Dihydrogen isn't that a surprise. Okay, we need to throw out and scatter There's some dihydrogen there. Just clear the whole area. Big time. And pick up the salt as well. And might as well just have a little bit of a clean sweep here. Probably going to need it all anyway. Um, and then what we'll do is another one of those. Okay, assemble things there. Return to scrap uh, construction din to report your success. That means we've got to go back to base. Uh, where's my ship gone? Right, so we're, we're going to have to fly around uh, a little bit. So let's get back to base. So here we are. We are back to this place where I can't land very well. Um, hopefully, oh, we're actually landing this time. And we're just going to drop here. I suppose we've got to put a scan for them to appear. Um, it's this guy, is it? I must admit, I do like the star. As a construct, as the construct stares at me, I'm aware of my status here as an intruder. My organic life form beneath the Adelintum veil has been drawn across the auto page. Give a gift of none. I was there. Okay, I will. We're probably going to need to pick up some more of it. Oh, it's this guy. I spoke to the wrong one. <laughs> well, we got a bit of standing. So it's hand in or hydraulic. So we've got now got to make a, a new product formula learn. We've got to make a fiberglass grip, which means we've got to make more glass again. Thank you, game. And more with nanotubes. Now I'm aware time is pushing on, and one thing that keeps annoying me at the moment is this uh um drop pod thing. So what we're gonna do is see if we can I want to clear this drop pod, I think. Yeah, drop pod detected. So to finish off, we're going to kind of do a little bit of general maintenance now. Uh, okay, we're now autophage rank two. Thank you, game. Where's my ship gone? I keep losing my ship now. Reach rank one with the autophage. So, uh, yeah, I'm assuming the fiberglass grip is the next bit in the process of uh, building the staff, which is a multi-tool. Then it would get rid of this thing. I mean, I should have done this these a uh, long time ago, but I just kind of kept getting distracted. Um, anything else here that we can snag? No. Okay, we got to make a housing nanotube, and we'll get rid of this. Fix the suits. Um. Oops. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll just square off this bit here this time. Actually, I've just had a thought because I've also got another one. If I go to the starship, got one of these. So I think what I'm going to do is again just to finish off. We're right, we're going to need some. I've got some salvage glass here as well. I've been kind of leaving this as as glass. We're getting a bit low on adamantum as well, so we're probably going to need to stock up on that. Uh, what I'm going to do is do this, see, if, and clear this one away as well. It says alien artifact detected. So, as I say, just to finish this part off, we're hello. 
I must admit, uh, maybe one of you guys can t um, tell me, is, is this a possible look for an avatar? Because I quite like this look. Kind of being a little bit roboty, but in an eccentric way. Right, we've found an ancient plaque over here. We'll go here. And we'll just come here, interact with the memories of the plaque. Surface block simmers and shakes without range. I can hear it moaning. Each conquered starts to keep me. I'm going to seek knowledge of the past. Historical data revealed. And again, we're just going to jump in this. I must admit, I'm really starting to like this Starborn Runner. I like the aesthetic, and more importantly, I, I like the way it flies, if that makes sense. Right, we're just going to get... Right, so what I'm going to do now is get to get down on the ancient ruin. Like this. Uh, so this, hopefully we haven't been here before. Um, I'm just going to land very quickly. And again, we're just going to... Destination reach. Oh, great. Yeah, we got a firestorm coming in. Although, strictly speaking, we should be protected inside of this area here. What's the large artifact crate again? <laughs> yeah, I think we get a degree of protection if we're actually... This one looks a bit dodgy. It might be a bit deep. Another ancient key. Uh, artifact fragment. Dig uh, you out. And now what we're going to do is find the large crate. And of course, I can't find it. Um, there it is. One, two, three. Right, we've got a rare item uh, engraved shipwright stick. Okay, what's that? So we kind of got about a million in artifacts here, which I could sell off. I still kind of half want to hang on to these for if we ever run against it across one of those pillars, but I think at the moment we'll probably need the cash more than anything else. Uh, what's that there? Damaged machinery, 160. Uh, I don't think... so. What I'm going to do now is get back to the space station and we'll offload that. Wow. I've obviously done a lot of hopping backwards and forwards. So we're going to go back and head for the space station. And of course, the capital vessel and the anomaly make a very good kind of quick pickup target as well. So we're going to get back to the space station and uh, do our stuff. So here we are. We're just going to sell off the two items. Grab some. Uh, we're going to sell. We'll sell clumbering, crumbling poetry. And we'll also sell that. And what I want to do. And one more thing to do, log. Uh, there's new citizen request enabled, right? So we're, we're just going to flip to our settlement. See what our 
view settlement. I proposed a festival to recognize the foundation of our settlement. Uh, though exempting all citizens who work for this event will be costing 91% believe it would be worthwhile. I, I think we'll endorse the event just to make them all a little bit happier. I mean, I don't know what will happen if uh, they get completely unhappy. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do now is just wander around and find the building that we're meant to be building. Because technically that should be ready to go. Um, it's going to be around the outside here somewhere. Right, so what we're going to do is see if we can push this forward a bit. Um, and see if we can get this finished. We need three metal plating. <laughs> um, can I make three metal plating? Yep. So we'll get this underway. Supply three metal plating. And we got another 19 minutes. And this is definitely where I'm going to be leaving it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.